<laughs> it's alt season. What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Sava Tech once again, and welcome to yet another how to video. Today, we're going to be talking about how to mine Ryo currency on Windows 10 as well as Hive OS. This one's near and dear to me. We used to run a Ryo currency pool. We had a pretty large one. It was pretty awesome. A lot of fun back in the day and we need to do an update on how to mine it. The reason we are doing a how to mine Ryo currency is plain and simple. It was number one on what to mine for a couple days there. It has gone back down and all I can say there is Welcome to alt season, but before we get into it, here's a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is CDK Deals. To get great deals on Windows 10 Pro Keys, check out the links in the description. To activate, it's as simple as going to cdkdeals.com using the link in the description and then searching for Windows 10 Pro. From here, you just need to click buy now, then you can sign up for a quick and easy account. Don't forget to type in your promo code, which is SOT20 and click submit order. From here, you can pay with FastPay, PayPal, credit card, etc. Once you've completed your purchase, head on over to the user center. Once processing is complete, you will be able to get your key to activate Windows. Your key will be located in your account under my purchased orders. You will click view keys and codes, click get the key, and then you will copy the code. Next, head on over to Windows, Searching Cortana for activation settings, click on change product key and use control V to paste the code into the box. Click next, then click activate and your copy of Windows will be activated. No more pesky watermark. To get 20% off your Windows 10 Pro purchase, don't forget to check out the affiliate link down in the description and use promo code SOT20 when signing up. Welcome back. So. There is a huge story behind Ryo currency that I think we will cover in a WTF is Ryo video. And like I said, we're pretty familiar with it. We went through the Sumo coin fork to Ryo. We did a lot of stuff around it. I've been around it for a while. Covering some of the drama and stuff later might be interesting, but today let's just get into the how to. So popping on over to our little test machine here, what we need first is probably going to be a wallet, obviously. Now for a wallet, you really have a couple options that are interesting, right? So you can of course use the Ryo currency wallet, which would be your hardware wallet. We'll go ahead and pull that up for you guys here. So you have a web, a command line, an online wallet generator, and then some mobile platforms. My suggested if you're just gonna be mining and holding would be grabbing an online wallet generator. You can do that here, and then you can recover that to the main wallet later on if you so wish, right? So if you go ahead and generate it, essentially you can just go ahead and say generate wallet and it will give you your private keys as well as your mnemonic seed you will want to basically keep that secure somewhere and then this would be the wallet address that you mine to whenever you are ready to go ahead and start selling you would need to recover this to a main wallet we can do a different guide on that later if you need it let me know in the comment section below now with a lot of altcoins people do like to mine directly to an exchange and that's where things get a little tricky with ryo the only real exchange for ryo in my humble opinion is trade ogre which is not necessarily a fantastic exchange right now so when we're talking about mining these altcoins the problem is is your supply is low the amount of people purchasing it can be low and it varies a lot what's also going to vary a lot is what the profitability looks like that's why ryo looked like it was you know doing the best but it's also as you can see here up 850 percent on trade ogre so if you guys want to create a trade ogre account it's pretty simple you just kind of click in and say sign in then click the register button type in an email and a password and then agree to the terms of service you know sign over your firstborn and all that sort of thing and then at this point you would need to go ahead and get your two-factor authentication enabled to do that, all you need to do is click that little button where they warn you, and then you can go into your Authy app like we've talked about before. 
you can click add and then you're just going to copy the manual code over paste it in add the account say authy select a color say save copy this and type in the generated code and then you currently have the authenticator active so your next step is going to be depositing or getting your address so you can click the little icon and then click the balances in the search box you're going to search for rio and then click the deposit button and then this would be the address that you go ahead and configure to mine to so the next step after that is going to be getting the miner itself now this is where things get more storied it's fun but fire ice uk was part of that fork from sumo coin to ryo and he created that fork this is his currency. He also develops XMR stack. So there is a little bit of clout behind, of course, Ryo, just from that fact, and just kind of a nice little side note. Alrighty, so this would be the main XMR stack page, but what you'll really need is the GPU one. So we're gonna click on over to XMR stack GPU. Just make sure that's the correct one within your GitHub. Scroll down to the bottom and you are going to find the XMR stack win64.zip. You'll click that and it will download. Then you're going to click the little folder option. And here will be the download for XMR stack win64. Once you've done this, you'll right click it and use 7-zip to extract here. You can also use the built-in Windows extractor if you download the .zip. If you download the .7z, you will have to use... Uh, an alternate like, of course, 7-zip or WinRAR, etc. So now we have the folder up and ready to go. We're gonna double click into it and then we can run the executable. This point, it has a really nice simple method set up here. It's gonna be really easy. You're gonna click yet Y for yes to use the simple. It gives you a list of coins and algorithms. In this particular case, the coin is already listed because it's the same developer. So we'll say Ryo. The pool address, we are gonna be mining to the official Ryo pool. So we're gonna go ahead and copy the pool.ryocurrency.com and the port out. And then for the wallet address, we're gonna go ahead and grab our wallet address from Trade Ogre, copy that paste that in for the password we'll leave it empty we will say no on tls ssl and then we are off to the races with mining ryo currency on windows 10. you can always tap the h button to get your hash rate and eventually it'll be populated once it's built everything out this is a 6900 xt it's doing 3600 hash a second on this particular algorithm looks like it still needs to build up a little bit but it's been doing pretty good. So there you go. That's how to mine Ryo currency on your Windows 10 machine. Now, of course, if you guys are trying to look and see what your payouts are, you can go back to the pool page, which is pool.ryocurrency.com. Then you go to the worker statistics page, paste in your address and click the lookup button. At this point, it'll tell you what your current hash rate is, what your average hash rate is etc a couple things to note is going to be your pending balance total paid and so on you will not receive a payment until you see it say total paid here and then at that point you should see it in your balances tab for trade ogre so you would basically see it say available here and then the estimated us dollar we can go over trading on tradeogre.com in a later video if you guys really need help with that, but it's pretty simple. It's a traditional exchange. Yes, that does mean you're going to vary. If you're thinking you're just going to mine it and you see like you have a thousand dollars USD in Ryo currency and you go list all of that on the exchange, it's highly unlikely that you're going to get that solid a thousand dollars across the board right so it doesn't really work like that which is why mining some of these altcoins can be um, quite troublesome it's not like ethereum where you can just basically get that price traded the volumes that high because the volumes low it, that trade price is going to basically change quite a bit okay so let's go ahead and talk about hive os for hive os you'll need to just hit your wallets tab and click add wallet you're going to select the coin, which will be Ryo. You're going to paste in your wallet address. You can name it whatever you like. 
we'll say Ryo Trade Ogre and say Create. And then at this point, we'll need to create a flight sheet. So we're going to go ahead and click the flight sheets tab for the coin. We will select Ryo for the wallet. We will select the Ryo wallet that we just created for the pool. You can basically select the official Ryo pool here and that is EU. So uh, it really just depends on you know, your application here. You may want to test different pools for your location. And then of course, we're going to select XMR stack because if he develops the coin, then obviously you're going to get hopefully the best out of the miner that he's using as well. And then we are just going to name this Ryo and create the flight sheet. At this point, you'll go to your workers tab. You'll select the worker that you want to move over to it. Then you will select the flight sheet and then you will go through and find the flight sheet for Ryo and then click apply. At this point, the rig will most likely download the XMR stack miner or basically, which could take some time. So be patient and then it will spin up and start mining Ryo currency. Pretty straightforward. Hope that was helpful. If I missed anything that you guys have questions on, definitely let me know in the comment section below. I believe this evening we are going to be able to do our unboxing of the 100,000 subscriber plaque. So thanks to everybody that subscribed. It looks like the shipping is going to be here soon. So I kind of want to do a little AMA with that. I'm excited. Hope you guys are excited as well. Tomorrow we're going to be talking about merge mining with an Antminer L3 Plus, and that will be LTC, which is Litecoin and Dogecoin. So if you're interested in that, make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss it. I will see you next Tuesday. If you enjoyed this content, you can check out more crypto content on this playlist up here. Or, of course, go ahead and subscribe for more in the future. Adios.